Hello all. Today I want to teach you or show you. Yeah, there's nothing to teach really. I'll show you how you can assemble a SSD hard disk at home. Uh, you will need to buy these uh, parts online. Uh, first, you need to buy the actual memory, and that memory is an SSD. It's uh, I recommend the NVMe PCIe type. Uh, the M2 model it seems and uh, this is what it is I have this from Intel and this is a 512 GB but uh, you can buy any brand it's not uh, important uh, important is this connectors if you see these connectors at the end uh, there are four of them on that one tooth and the rest of the connectors are on the rest of the bigger tooth so make sure you get that so that it can fit onto the uh, housing that I recommend to you. I'll put the links of the housing and this uh, memory uh, in the description below and uh, see if you like to buy that. I found this housing very interesting because uh, it's very easy to assemble and I like the look of it. It has a heat sink in the back and it is transparent so yeah it looks nice when you carry it around also it's very simple to open also you just push it slide it and then this part comes out you take out the motherboard from the inside yeah, there are no screws to so far After this, you take the memory and you slide it in into the motherboard. Uh, what I made a mistake the first time was I tried to slide it with both the plates parallel and this does not go in. This has to be sent in with an angle of nearly 25 or 30 degrees. Mm. So it has to go in like this and then you just press it into position. This is how it will look afterwards. You then take this holding nut and put it into position here. longer okay and then you put in the screw from the back the screw and the holding nut are provided with the housing case so you don't have to go looking for it they've also done a good job by providing the correct screwdriver so you just need to tighten the screw Once this is done, this is tight and in position, it comes one secure piece. After this, you just put it into the casing here. Yeah. Nothing else to do. They have this slight foam sticker here. Uh, I just place it on top to keep it uh, tight and secure in the housing. You can remove this uh, plastic on top and uh, stick it if you like. After this, you just place it like that. Yeah. And then just slide it. It's done. So now you have a hard disk of 512 GB 
this apply with a cable just plug in the cable and you have this hard disk ready you can plug it in with the regular USB into your laptop it also comes with a USB-C to a USB-C cable if you like that otherwise this works for my laptop well enough thanks guys